everyone, I'm Diana Palm, and I've been helping people to heal from grief for over 30 years. So today I'm going to share with you what I think is actually the most important step in healing your own grief. Grief is caused from loss. It's either caused from a difficult breakup, divorce, or from the death of a loved one. This includes beloved pets. There are many different approaches to healing grief. What I find when I work with my clients one-on-one -on -one is that what every single person experiencing grief has in common is the need to express love. They need to express love. Sometimes we think it's about feeling love, but it's actually about expressing love. Because if you understand the energy of grief, grief is unexpressed love. It's like one day you have a connection that's loving and it gives back and forth. And when there's a sudden death or an ending, that bond, the flow of love is severed and there's nowhere for it to go. So it gets backed up inside the body. This is what actually causes heartache and other physical pains within the body when you're grieving. So it's very, very important to reestablish a love bond. It's very important for you to express love, to move that energy forward instead of holding on to it through feeling the pain of your loss. Besides physical pain, mental anguish, emotionally feeling raw, depressed, there are a lot of other ways that grief can show up in your life. Be sure to download my free grief assessment right below this video. I'll have the link down there. It's a free PDF. You can just print it off and fill it out by circling all the different symptoms or behaviors that you've been doing. And that will help you assess your level of experiencing grief. So today we're talking about expressing love because that's going to actually move the energy of grief outside of your body. It's going to give you an object of affection that you can give all that love to. I'm going to advise that you consider adopting a pet. When you bring a pet into your home, they instantly fill your house with joy and energy. You can feel them bringing their love to you and your very act of nurturing them, caring for them, feeding them, grooming them, and snuggling with them. All of these things begin to fill your life with the energy of love and giving that care and nurturing to the pet helps you express the love that has become stuck and stagnant from the loss you experienced. There's a very, very real energy that gets moved out of your body when you begin to express love. Of course, animals embody unconditional love, so there's no safer way to express your love than to an animal who can bring it back to you in a very, very unconditional way. Humans don't offer unconditional love, and we're not supposed to. That's the beautiful blessing and gift that animals provide. When you bring a pet into your home and begin loving and caring for that pet, a psychic link between you and that pet is established. That means your pet is very connected to everything going on in your world. They know when you're sad. They know when you need a snuggle. They know when they need to make you laugh. But in an effort to heal you, they often absorb your pain. So the psychic bond is very, very strong between you and your pet. And that's why it's also important that you're making an effort to get out and do things that are good for yourself to be happier so that your pet is feeling some joy and safety and security with you and not just your grief. Think about the pets that are in shelters or humane societies that have been abandoned, neglected, sometimes abused, or rehomed and shuffled around to a bunch of different families. And all they're really looking for is someone to love them. They have had their heart broken too. They have experienced a lot of loss, instability, and they're looking for somebody to love them just like you are. So when you decide to adopt a pet, if you've been grieving and you're ready to express love and start healing your heart, find an animal that you bond with. Go to a humane society or animal shelter and just visit with the animals. Pet them, talk to them, and see who you actually resonate with. I guarantee you, your animal will select you. There will be that instant bond where you both are understanding where you're coming from. You both have the same type of wounds to heal. There'll be a deep and lasting connection between you. When you adopt your pet this way, you're actually attracting your soulmate pet, one that's meant to heal you and one that you're meant to heal. 
If you have ever been blessed by having a soulmate pet relationship, let me know that down in the comments. In fact, put their name down there. I myself have had a soulmate pet and it's different than the other pets that you love and that you provide a home for. When you have a soulmate pet, you know it. Your soulmate pet will usually come into your life when you're experiencing a lot of pain, sorrow, challenges, and they provide this loving, stable energy for you to help move you through that experience. So it's really important that when you recognize you have a soulmate pet, you're loving on them like crazy because they were sent to you to basically save your life, to reinvigorate your soul, and to provide that kind of loving energy back into your home. So be sure you take extra special care of them. When you begin taking care of your pet, your heart will actually begin to mend. Let me know if you've experienced that too. If you were saved by an animal, if you had a broken heart and were healed by an animal that loved you, let me know that in the comments as well. Expressing your love releases your pain from grief. Even though you still miss your loved one, the energy of grief will lessen and lessen the more you express love and form a new bond. If you'd like to do this, but you're just not prepared to adopt a pet right now, that's totally okay. It's a big commitment because you don't wanna bring a pet into your home and then abandon them at a later date. So be sure you're ready for this long-term commitment and relationship with your soulmate pet. Now, if you'd like to still receive the healing benefits from a pet, you can visit the Humane Society and become a volunteer. You can go in there and visit with the animals. You can sign up to groom them. You can walk the dogs. You can snuggle with the kitties. You can spend your time around the energy of the animals and offer them nurturing and care and still receive that healing for your heart that you're needing right now. Being in the presence of animals is one of the most healing things that you can ever do for your heart. I live in Cottonwood, Arizona, and I visited Verde Valley Humane Society, and they are filled to capacity. So if you are grieving right now, if you want to heal your heart, if you'd like to add more love and value into your life, be sure you come and look at Verde Valley Humane Society and see if your soulmate pet is there waiting for you. And don't forget, money is energy. So that's another way for you to express your love when you're conscientiously giving your money to something that you believe in. So if you're not in the area, if you're not in Arizona, but you'd like to help a phenomenal shelter that is rescuing and housing and caring for so many animals, then please think about giving a donation that can help them continue to do this work for all of those animals out there who are homeless and grieving. You can use the link right below this video if you would like to support them and that will be a link directly to their website. They put a hundred percent of their donations straight into the care of the animals. If you'd like to see more about Verde Valley Humane Society, stay tuned to meet some special animals that currently need homes because I'm going to go down there right now and visit with some of these animals and show you these precious little babies that would love to be your soulmate pet.